हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फ्लूड एंड न्यूटन्स लॉ ऑफ विस्कोसिटी फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ फ्लूड दैट इज डेंसिटी मैंशनड बाय रो डेंसिटी इज डिफाइंड एज द रेशियो ऑफ मास टू वॉल्यूम ऑफ इट्स फ्लूड द यूनिट इज किलोग्राम पर मीटर क्यूब टू अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ डेंसिटी let we take a water having length 1 meter water tank having length height and width 1 meter each now what is the volume of this water tank it's a 1 meter cube right so its mass is 1000 kg means 1000 kg per 1 meter cube so the density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube or 1 g per cm cube or 1 g per cc if we take 1 cm by 1 cm by 1 cm cube of a water then its mass will be 1 g density of liquid may be constant but the density of gas changes with respect to temperature and pressure it is directly proportional to pressure means if we increase the pressure density will increase and it is inversely proportional to temperature means if we increase the temperature of gas its density will reduce second property that is specific weight or it is called as weight density weight density is defined as the ratio of weight to volume and the unit is obviously newton per meter cube and we know weight is equal to mass into gravitational acceleration so w is equal to mg and specific weight is equal to weight upon volume put the values weight is equal to mg so mass upon volume into g so mass upon volume is equal to density so specific weight comes out to be rho into g and specific weight of water is equal to put the values each entity rho and g in above equation that is 1000 kg per meter cube into 9.81 meter per second square so kilogram into meter per second square that is newton so 9810 newton per meter cube this is specific weight of water now specific volume it is the inverse of density or it is defined as ratio of volume to mass volume is meter cube mass is kilogram So, and si unit is equal to meter cube per kilogram and specific volume of water that is equal to 1 cm specific gravity s specific gravity is the ratio of density of fluid to the ratio of standard fluid that is water or ratio of specific weight of fluid to specific weight of water and unit is no unit because it is ratio of to density specific gravity of water is 1 specific gravity of some oil varies from 0.7 to 0.99 and specific gravity of mercury is 13.6 now viscosity to understand the concept of viscosity let me take one example a fluid is flowing on this plate this is stationary plate and this is a moving plate and between these two plates the fluid is moving upper plate is moving in this direction with velocity u and lower plate is having zero velocity so in between these two plates there are layers of fluid and these layers are having va varying velocity for example this upper layer will be having higher velocity and as we proceed further towards this stationary plate its velocity reduces and here velocity is zero so a velocity gradient is created between this upper layer and this bottom layer and that is called as du upon dy and because of variation in this velocity there is a frictional between two two layers means two layers rub each other or there is a shear stress shearing action is there shear stress is there and that shear stress is equal to shear force upon area shear force is the force which is parallel to the direction of the area 
and this shear stress that is proportional to velocity gradient du upon dy so we can say this is shear stress tau is proportional to du upon dy or tau is equal to mu into du upon dy where mu is dynamic viscosity coefficient it is constant for a fluid and it depends upon temperature it varies with respect to temperature and this property is very important for the fluid to be used as a lubricant because viscosity means it is opposite to word fluidity fluidity means easiness to flow whereas viscosity means not easiness towards flow or obstruction towards flow hence it is the measure of internal fluid friction next parameter that is coefficient of viscosity mu it states that the shear stress required per unit shear strain is coefficient of viscosity so in this equation tau is equal to mu into du by du by dy we make this equation for mu so mu is equal to shear stress upon viscosity gradient sorry velocity gradient so velo shear stress is equal to newton per meter square velocity gradient is meter per second per meter so unit comes out to be newton second per meter square and cgs unit is dyne second per centimeter square which is also called as poise or 1 newton second per meter square is equal to 10 dyne second per centimeter square or 10 poise and dynamic viscosity of water is 1 centipoise next is kinematic viscosity nu the ratio of dynamic viscosity to density of fluid is called as kinematic viscosity and units are units we can derive like this viscosity upon density that is kinematic viscosity unit of viscosity is newton second per meter square that is shown by yellow color and unit of density is kilogram per meter cube so if we write here newton is written to write newton in instead of newton if you wish to write kilogram then we should write like this instead of newton kilogram meter per second square that is same as newton as it is shown by white color now this is the unit of viscous kinematic viscosity nu here kilogram kilogram gets cancelled second second cancelled meter meter cancelled so final unit is meter square per second and this is si unit of kinematic viscosity and cgs unit is centimeter square per second that is stock or one stock is equal to 100 centi stock it is written as small c capital s t and centi stock is widely used unit for measurement of kinematic viscosity of any fluid and for water at 20 degree centigrade temperature dynamic viscosity is 1 centipoise density is 1 gram per centimeter cube and kinematic viscosity is equal to 1 centi stock you can remember these three terms for water and it's very easy to understand dynamic viscosity 1 centipoise density 1 gram per centimeter cube and kinematic viscosity 1 centi stock I hope it's clear to you next parameter that is cohesion cohesion is the property of fluid by which particles of the same fluid is attracted means whenever there is attraction between the same particles of single fluid that is called as cohesion and surface tension is due to cohesion and adhesion means the property of fluid by which the particles of different fluid are attracted if both the fluids are different then attractive force is called as adhesion and if both the particles are of the same element it is called as cohesion for example attractive force between two atoms of water is cohesive force and attractive force between the atom of water and atom of air that is called as adhesion or atom of water and atom of a glass tube or any element that is called as adhesive force and capillarity is due to adhesive force now surface tension to understand the concept of surface tension let me take one example a water is stored in a tank and let me consider two atoms atom a and atom b where atom a is at the submerged position and atom b is partially submerged half atom is submerged in the water and half atom is open to atmosphere see here both these atoms are highly enlarged view it's a 
enlarged diagram of two atoms now atom a is under balanced force because atom a is subjected to equal forces in all direction so it is in equilibrium sigma f is equal to 0 now think about atom b see here atom a is connected with all atom of water means there is only one force that is cohesive force cohesive force is force between same it atom so this atom a is subjected to all cohesive forces which are equal in order all direction whereas atom b is partially subjected to cohesive force and partially subjected to adhesive force see in this in this direction in downward direction where arrows are shown in that side all atoms are of water so there is a cohesive force because b is atom of water and down in downward direction all atoms are of water and then in upward side all atoms are of air so there is a adhesive force between atom b and these atoms which is above this point so here adhesive force is quite lesser than cohesive force so because of this cohesive force atom b tries to go downward direction sigma f is equal to uh, sigma f is in downward direction so b will try to go inside so what will happen atom b will go downward at the same time again another atom will come at its space again that atom will also be subjected to the downward force and this process repeats so because of this process the upper layer of this liquid behaves as it is a covered by a stretched membrane a membrane which is a stretched that property is observed over here at the upper layer of this water and that is called as surface tension means tension in the upper surface of liquid particles and because of this uh, surface tension the mosquitoes can swim over the upper layer of water you can see here similarly this experiment you can do at your own put a needle in a water and if you put the needle very safely very sh sharply such that it remains in totally horizontal position it will swim like this it will not sink and this swimming is due to the property of surface tension of the water and this property uh, surface tension property tends to minimize the surface area next property that is capillarity the rise or fall of liquid surface in a small capillary tube is called as capillarity and this is due to the cohesive forces you can see here there is attraction between water particle and glass tube suppose this is a thin glass tube there is attractive force between thin glass tube and water particle and this cohesive force is higher then the adhesive force between two atoms of water and because of this because of that here rise h is observed that is called as capillarity similarly instead of water if you fill up the mercury in the tank and if we insert a capillary tube inside this mercury tank then there will be fall of mercury that is height h and that is called as capillarity so here also adhesive force is higher cohesive force is less in case of mercury whereas in case of water cohesive force is less adhesive force is higher so whenever whenever adhesive force is higher rise will be there and whenever cohesive force is higher fall will be there and this rise or fall depends upon the diameter of this tube if diameter of this tube reduces the ri rise will be higher means it is inversely proportional to height as height increases diameter reduces capillarity action will increase and vice versa so the tendency of a liquid in a capillary tube to rise or fall that is because of surface tension that is called as capillarity it can be measured in terms of centimeter of water next parameter that is bulk modulus that is called as k to understand the concept of bulk modulus let me take a cube of certain dimension now to change the shape of this fluid or to change the volume of this fluid what should we do we need to apply pressure from all direction 
suppose we apply pressure p on this cube from all six directions and its volume reduces right because of application of external pressure obviously its volume will reduce suppose initial volume is ve and final volume is v minus dv means its volume reduces by delta v so the ratio of this pressure that is applied pressure and the change in volume that is del v upon v that ratio is called as bulk modulus of elasticity or b is equal to delta p upon del v upon v where the unit of various parameters are shown over here volume of, uh, unit of k is pascal unit of v is meter cube unit of delta p is pressure in terms of pascal and delta v is change in volume in terms of meter cube suppose the change in volume for this parameter is delta v upon v so the ratio of pressure applied to the change in volume or volumetric strain is called as bulk modulus of elasticity newton's law of viscosity suppose these are the layers of a fluid which is flowing on a surface and these velocities of each layers varies like this at top layer velocity will be higher and as we proceed further towards the stationary plate velocity reduces so because of that there is relative motion between two layers and because of this relative motion the friction is there and that frictional force or th that resistance towards the flow that is called as shear stress that is equal to shear force upon area and that is proportional to velocity gradient du upon dy and so tau is proportional to du upon dy and to put is e e equality over here we need to use a constant mu so tau is equal to mu into du upon dy that is the newton's law of viscosity these are the four examples based on properties of fluid that we will discuss in uh, next coming lecture feel free to contact for any query related to fluid mechanics and hydraulic machines thanks for watching